everyone who's joining. This is our first session for Sador's Let's Talk Tech series for SAP Business by Design customer consignment. We're going to be having two phases. This is going to be our first phase. Um, and it is 11.05 on the dot. So we can go ahead and get started. I'll introduce myself. My name is Brittany Soder. I am the customer engagement executive for Sador North America. And today with me, I have Mahama Fami, and he is our pre-sale solution architect. Morning, everyone. Good, Good morning. Thank you all for joining. Please feel free to uh, put any questions that you have in the chat, and we will also review them at the end. All right, Mo, go ahead. So we'll go over a process overview. And then we'll go into a fun start of the demo into SAP Business by Design, and we'll have a Q&A session at the end. Perfect, perfect. So I, as you can see, I, I'm so excited. I've just been starting in, you know, jumping in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead. Go ahead, Mo. All right. What is uh, customer consignment? And can you explain to me how it works? Of course. So customer consignment is a process where a business or a customer in this model called consignee is uh, responsible for selling a product for a supplier, owner, or a consigner. Okay. So the consignee actually is responsible for everything related to this product, like inventory management, storage, and other stuff for the purpose of selling. That's brief okay. of what the consignment is, or what the consignment model is. Great, I can't wait to see it in the system. Can you please tell me the difference between a consignment and a regular sales process? Yes, of course. So, uh, so it is the relationship in this scenario is a little bit different than what happened with the normal sales. So in this scenario, actually the consignee, which is the customer, they're responsible for the product and they have the product, but the ownership remains with the supplier or the, the product owners. In other words, in this scenario, the product is at the property of the consignee or the customer, they can sell it but still owned by the supplier until it's sold. So which opened up the window for returns. So if the supplier or the owner want to have a return of the product at any point of time, they can do it because they still own. That's a little that's a little bit different than the normal sales, you know, and they just the customer buy it, they own it, and they don't just return it until there's something wrong with it. Okay. Great, thank you. And I know there's some advantages for both a seller and supplier. Can you please um, explain that? Yes, of course. So you can see the advantages is that for the customer or the consignee is that this reduce the capital and the inventory. This reduce what the own stock you have. So you have something you can sell, you can make profit out of it, but you don't have to own it. And of course, for the supplier or for the owner, the consigner, the profit, the what they get as advantage is that they can produce the product, they can ship it to the consignee, and they will just save in the storage and other stuff related to having this product in place. So they can produce it, ship it, keep on in it, but at the same time, it's not in their sites. Good. Yeah, that is is interesting. I, I like. I would love to see that. So I know in consignment, it is covered in SAP Business by Design. How is that able? How are you able to show that? Okay. So let's jump to the next slide. So this slide actually is showing the process flow, how it works between by design, like what's what's the scenario covered in by design, and how work how consignment works in business by design. As you can see here in this diagram. We have the consignee, which is the customer, and the consigner, which is the owner. So at the beginning, you have a long-term relationship between the customer and the supplier, or maybe a contract to start this. Contract is something it, that's covered in by design. It's not mandatory, but still, if you want to build it based on a contract. And of course, like any other you know, business, the request starts from the customer side that they need the product. 
And this triggers something called sales order fill up in Baidu's. And what's different in this model is that this sales order will be created in DYD. You will have a shipment delivered to the customer, but you can see some uh, differences in the process as, as we go. You will see that, that there's something called consignment stock, which is in by design that will be increased and it will be under the custody of the customer. And you'll see that the warehouse stock decreased, but you still see the products in your stock of and why is that? Because it's still on it. So it's still owned by you, so you can see it. Of course, it will be shipped to the customer. The customer will start the selling process. Once they sell one or two pieces, let's say from your product, another sales order will be triggered in by the sign where the consumption will take place and an invoice will be generated for the customer as a follow-up document where you can charge the customer for the actual sale, sold products. This is the second process we'll be covering today, which is the issue process. So today we'll be working mainly over two processes, the fill up and the issue. Awesome, thank you, Mo. Now we can we go ahead and jump to the demo and see it live? Yes, of course, one second. So let me just reshare my screen. Here we go. So, Britt, please let me know if you can see the new screen here. Yes, I can see it. Okay, perfect. So now we are in business by design. And, uh, of course, because I like to cover everything, so I started with the longer scenario, which is having a contract in place. So I created a contract for this customer. Just get, let me give you a brief on my company. My company is a telecommunication company that produces kind of switches and other telecommunication stuff and sell it. So they have normal sales and they have consignment sales. So what happened here is that we build up a contract with one of our customers where we have one of our products sold under the consignment agreement. So this product will be sold just a normal, like a normal contract with, for sales. You will have the quantity, the pricing and everything set up and just with doing one change, this will change the entire process in business by design. So this is like a brief on how the contract is built. Let's go to the magic. Let's see how the process actually is covered in BYD. So of course, if everyone here is using BYD, they know this magical screen, the document flow. So we created follow-up sales order from our contract. The first one, two sales orders actually, the first one was a sales order for the fill-up, the first process we talked about in the presentation. So by clicking here, I will jump to the sales order. As you can see in sales order, this is like any typical sales order we have in BYD. The items, it's the same thing. And you can see here that we have only one change, which is the product type change to consignment fill-up. With that change, the system understands that this stock, this 10 pieces will be sent to the customer as a consignment product. It's not actual sales. So again, when we go to the document flow, you can see here that we have a contract sales order. We have a completely normal sales process but there is one small change, which is here at this part, you can see that there is outbound delivery created for consignment fill up and warehouse confirmation for that, but no invoice is generated. The reason why is that the customer actually not yet on the product. So it just a consignment process, it was transferred to them, but since it's been transferred outside to a customer, outbound delivery was created, but no invoice was created. To give you a clear picture on how this works in the background from the warehouse perspective, let me just jump to one screen. Now I'll be going to the stock overview. So once you activate this functionality in your system, a new stock overview screen will be added up for you, a new work center, which is consignment stock overview. Let's look for our product. 
click enter. As you can see here, a different, a slightly different view from the normal stock overview. You can see that you have the custodian ID, which is the customer. You have your product, the quantity for the product, and everything, and what's actually the fill-up site, which is the side that we move this to the customer. So you can see here that you have a quantity of five out of 10 still in the customer, under the customer site, and it's not yet sold. Let's wrap this up and get back to our scenario. So now we covered the first part of it, which is the fill up process, how the consignment stock is moved to the customer and how it looked like from the warehouse perspective or inventory perspective. Let's go to the second where we, as a lucky supplier, someone reach out and say, hey, I want to buy five repeat product from that customer. So in that case, another sales order will be created in by design. But in this time, sorry about that. And this time you can see here, the sales order, the product type, it changed from consignment fill-in to consignment issue. And this is actually to tell the system that now after you send this 10 parts to that customer, now we are selling five. And it's not only that. One of the good things in the system is that let's say this customer actually is going to buy products from you, like which is a direct sale, like they are buying some other stuff. In this order, you can add more lines with normal sales lines, and one of them are a consignment product, and the system will understand the process and run it completely normal. So you don't have to create multiple sales orders, consignment and non-consignment products. And here you can see in the document flow that the process is actually the second part of the normal sales process. So you can see here that the sales order is generating customer requests, uh, invoice requests, and customer invoice. It's not generating outbound delivery here because we already delivered the product to the customer. So this is mainly how the process flow works in by design, and this is how like you know the issue and the fill the fill up and the issuing is working by design. One last piece I want to show is how this from financial perspective, and I know a lot of people here will be interested in that, how financially this works in by design. So let me just go to the journal entries. Good point, Mohammed. Thank you for sharing that. So as for the journal entries, you can see here that we have two entries created for this. Okay. So you can see here once the customer actually sold or consumed five when we created the new order. The first order have a consumption of five products and because the product have a valuation of you know, 50, so 60, so the total is $300. And you can see that's a manual consumption. So what the system do is that it just do the process like it's consuming stock from the first order and then just for the revenue part of it, generating another journal entry with the 450, which is the price $90 per each that we sold this product for the customer. So it's doing the consumption and doing the pricing, the revenue collection based on the invoice, but it's not doing the consumption for all of the products in the first order, just doing for what was actually sold. And you know, this like grab our process and by design. Let's go back to the presentation. Thank you, Mohammed, for sharing that wonderful demo. And please, everyone who is involved, to put any questions that you might have in the chat, and Mohammed can be able to answer those questions that you have. Also, please feel, uh, please stay tuned. We are going to be having a second session uh, soon, and we'll be posting this um, also on our page for you to view later. <clears throat> please feel free to add any question you have. We we'll just give those people attending with us today a few minutes if you have anything in mind, if they have any questions related to the process we shall show, please let us know.
you know, Brett, that's very funny about like by design. It's like you feel like the system is changing whenever you just yes. know every something. time. It's mm -hmm. just like, so magical how they re reuse the normal process in a completely different way. I love it to be honest. It's something new, changing it's always. <clears throat> Gotta okay. love business by design. I do. <laughs> <laughs> So let's just give our, our attendees like a few minutes if someone needs to ask any question. Yes. Again, everyone, please stay tuned for our next upcoming session and feel free to reach out to Mohammed or myself and we can answer them individually. <clears throat> All righty. Well, thank you everybody so much for joining and we hopefully will see you at our next session. Thank you, everyone. It was so nice seeing you today. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Mohammed. Thank you. Thank you, Brett. Bye. Bye.